Hey battle babes, welcome back to another vlog. It's me, Andrea, and it is Monday night. Um, you probably hear me over here talking because I just finished uploading a video and I'm just letting it play, just watching it, just so I can make sure I didn't like miss anything. It's actually sounding good on YouTube and stuff like that. Anyway, that's besides the point. The point is this vlog. Y'all, I wanted to start a vlog, first of all, let me stop. My lips are dry. One second. What else is new? When are my lips not dry when I'm coming on here to vlog? That don't make no sense. Y'all know me at this point. I don't got uh, I don't gotta look cute for y'all. Anyway. So I wanted to start a vlog because y'all this week is actually pretty exciting. It's pretty intense. It's pretty stressful for me because um y'all I, oh my God. it is Monday. I retake the TMC Thursday. So I retake the TMC in four days. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I retake the TMC in three days. Oh my God. Y'all don't understand. Like, I retake this TMC and I'm freaking out because I just do not know how this is about to turn out. I really. I really do not know how this is about to turn out. I feel like I've been studying enough, but I feel like I haven't been studying enough at the same time. And so I kind of wanted to bring y'all along on like my last bit of like studying, take you guys along with me to actually take my test. Obviously you're not gonna be in a room with me because you can't, but um, I'm going to make sure I give you guys a real, like, as soon as I come out of that testing office, I'm going to start recording and I'm going to let you guys know how I'm feeling about it. I don't know if it's going to pass. If I pass, I don't know if it's going to be by the score that I'm hoping for, which is high cut. I just don't know. I just know this is for me this is a big deal and I kind of wanted to record my journey whether or not I pass or not I just wanted um I just wanted to document it y'all so one of the things though I'm I feel like as far as materials because I'm actually about to start studying again now that I have this video uploaded and stuff like that I have this video uploaded i just want to make um a quick reel and then after that i'm going to go ahead and study but i feel like when it comes to my studies what's really getting me right now is the formulas like i and i keep saying that i feel like as far as like the um the material the concepts things like that i get i get that i feel like i'm okay with that what i'm not understanding is the formulas that's what's really tripping me up like and i don't even know how to memorize them i don't i don't know i just don't know i just don't know when it comes to like cylinder factors and you know trying to um get the the time a cylinder can run i got that one Pe what it was it what it what is it paco paco pico pack paco pico paco times 100 i got that one I think that's dead space, right? Tell me if I'm, RTs, tell me in the comments, am I wrong? Oh, I'm about to fail. <laughs> but I feel like I got that one. Um, ideal body weight, I feel like I have that one. Um, converting um, pounds into kilograms, vice versa, I feel like I have that one. What else? Um, that's like, it's like like wh what am i doing like what am i doing i do not know formulas and it's driving me insane so that's honestly what i'm about to kind of focus on tonight i know this is a whole rant about absolutely nothing my bad y'all <laughs> my bad but i'm just nervous like i'm nervous i booked this test back in october and it's here like i booked this test and it had the audacity like the 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 date had the audacity to actually come. What? Oh my God. So, everybody's keep telling me like, if you're not ready, you can go ahead and postpone it. You can postpone it. If it's, if within 72 hours of taking the test, you can postpone it, it's fine. But honestly, 
honestly i don't want to postpone it i don't want to postpone it i'm going to go ahead and take it if for whatever reason i fail not even like my fail so if i don't get the score that i want which is high cut so i can start studying for rt um it is what it is i sat for it i'm going to go ahead and um go a few days later and take it again well study a little bit go a few days later and take it again and I'm just gonna keep doing that. And I'm just gonna keep doing that until I pass, until I get the score that I want so I can get my RRT. And that's the plan. I don't have, that's the game plan. That's, that's as thought out as I got it. I just keep going until I get it. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah, that's about it. I work tomorrow, 12 hour shift, uh, seven to seven. And then it's just home studying until my test that's it so i'm gonna see y'all a little bit later i'm about to go ahead and put this camera down because now i'm about to be ranting like i have been for like six minutes now <sighs> pray for you girl pray for me wow wow yeah look at me dead in my eyes i know that you know that a nigga ain't lying too much respect all of my shorty bds they know not to try too much respect i used to hand out cds before they were buy. Well, she love me so much, it seems like she buys. Niggas don't know how I live, but that's cause they live at the high. Full S13 stepping on shit to this pot. He brought me the money sealed up, I still had to count it, I cannot just hide. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, let's have sex in the bank. Tell her to open a safe. I hate a privileged rapper who don't even know what it takes. The diamonds they hit like a rainbow, that's cause the neck is a frame. Her, whoa. All the time that I had to go slide Too many sticks You go to war with whoever ain't never been by Too many sticks I was dead, your ops and none of them died Pussy Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up Why you pull up at one in the morning and sit on the edge of the bed? Testing emojis, tongue got eggplant busting went over her head Catching my side of the studio Make him repeat what he said Pussy Yeah Let's have sex in the car. The Maybach came with a bar. I'm wiping my dick with a bra. Snipe his ass. He got hit in the head for fraud. Ops get under body attention. I give them my all. How you come over the spot when you know it's your time of the morning? How? Make a distance. See how fast you go from the boot to a blunt. She say she hungry. I gave a dick for bun. Send me my whole fee. I don't do back ends and flint. No. No, no, let's have sex in the bank. Tell her to open a safe. I hate a privileged rapper who don't even know what it takes. The diamonds they hit like a rainbow, that's cause the neck is a frame. Her, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, let's have sex in the nines, do it. Breaking and bending the spines, do it. I hate a privileged rapper that ain't had a hit since his time, do it. Niggas be full of excuses, act like they taking their time. I just finished studying, right? And I'm low key about to be mad at myself. Oh shoot, I'm about to be mad at myself because it's late. It's about to be 11 o'clock. Um, it is 10.58. It's 10.58 and I'm just finished studying, but I won't lie, I am feeling a lot better about taking this test because I feel like I was doing so good. Like there was some questions that I missed that I could have gotten if I would have just, you know, slowed down and actually read the question. It is what it is. But um, there's other, there's other questions that I can't wait to get to work tomorrow so I can go over them with my coworker because he's the one that paid for that test and gave me the test. So, um, he's been helping me study so i really appreciate him so 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 much 
Um, but yeah, I definitely shouldn't have, I, sh I should have been laying down. Anyway, I still haven't eaten. So what I'm gonna do, I'm about to eat these two eggs and then um, lay down and try my hardest to get to sleep because at this point, I take Ambien to help me sleep at night. But at this point, um, at this point, it's just way too late. There's no way I'm gonna be able to actually get to sleep and wake up in time like that. Mm. I don't even wanna try. So um, yeah, y'all, I feel so good. Like there was some calculations and stuff that was on this test that some of the questions I didn't even answer because I just didn't know. But surprisingly, some of them, what is this? Surprisingly, oh geez. Surprisingly, a lot of the, not a lot, but a decent amount of the, y'all, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm low key actually getting tired. But um, a lot of the equations I actually kind of knew. So I don't know, maybe that's a good sign. I'm hoping, um, I'm hoping that's a good sign. I was texting Trey and he's like, what in the world are you still doing up? And I'm like, I, I'm stressed. I'm stressed out over this freaking test. So I'm just up like studying, like just that's it. This, this is what my life has been, just studying. I haven't been out. I haven't been doing any of that stuff that I actually want to do because I've been studying. I'm about to go ahead and crack these eggs open. I'm about to be so mad at myself. Having an eating disorder in OCD is like, why? Like, why is this even something that is an issue? Why is this something that people have? I don't know how to fix it. I fucking hate the fact that I have this and I have to deal with this because it's hard. It really, it, it consumes my life. It's really, really hard. And I just don't even know what to do. Like I, it's like all the efforts to like fix myself. It's like just, it's just not working. It's just not working. And I hate it. I hate it. I hate my life sometimes. I won't even lie. This, Cause here I am trying to think because I had what did I eat earlier I had a sausage and some potatoes this morning for breakfast I had some chicken and I usually just eat the chicken skin off the chicken but oh I had these mashed potatoes at work that was so good mm, mm, mm. I don't know who made those mashed potatoes <laughs> them things was good what else did I eat that and that was it no there was something else that was really good i can't remember though but um was it veggies but the veggies weren't that good i had that for breakfast and lunch and i haven't had anything since and lunch was like around 11 o'clock in the afternoon and here i am looking at these eggs this is two eggs like i'm actually hungry like i actually want to eat some food but see, the way my mental health is set up, it's a 50-50% chance that once I'm done eating these eggs, my mind is gonna start telling me, you need to throw that shit up now. I don't know who told you, you can put this inside of me, but you need to get rid of it right now. That's my body right now. That's just what it does for some reason. Ah, I just put myself in the eye. Ugh, God, ugh. I'm trying to. I got all this leaking, <laughs> uh, freaking, what is this? Eyeliner on my face, cause I don't feel like washing my face and I'm not right now, so. I say all that to say, preparing, I didn't really poke myself in the eye. Preparing meals or even getting ready to eat is so hard and honestly, when it comes to like trying to hang out with friends and stuff like that, it's hard because obviously a lot of activities 
these days is kind of surrounded around food. So when I can't necessarily eat the way I would like to at the moment, if I'm just not well, and I have friends, oh, let's go out to eat, let's go do this, let's go do that. Cause it's not even just out to eat, even drinking y'all. Like anything that makes my stomach feel heavy does that to my mind. And I just don't know why. So sometimes I still go and like I'll eat and then, and this is me being completely transparent and really opening up about something that just tears me apart inside because it's, it's embarrassing. But when people ask me to go out to eat, oh my gosh, why am I doing this to myself? Because when people first found out that I had an eating disorder and I would go out to eat with people and then I would go to the bathroom afterwards, I would have people following me into the bathroom, not to say anything, not to give me any type of words of encouragement to kind of like help me through it or kind of talk me down off it, simply to go into the bathroom after me just to listen to me throw up, just to see if they can. And it's, I lost a lot of friends over this y'all. Anyway, but what I was about to say is when I go out with people sometimes um and we're going out to eat i would eat the food and i would enjoy myself and i would talk and it would be so fun and i'm enjoying the food and i'm enjoying the company i'm i'm having fun i'm at that moment i'm genuinely having fun in my mind though i'm thinking about damn i really should not be eating this food right now but i don't want to be the weird person not eating food so I have to eat something. Then I end up eating too much. Now my stomach is heavy, but oh, I don't want anybody to catch on. I don't want anybody to follow me to the bathroom. I don't want anybody to know, you know, what I'm going through. So I'll sit there and I'm suffering. And all I can hear is like the noise. It's like I'm so distracted because I'm, I'm still participating in the conversation. But sometimes I'll get a little quiet, a little, uh, just a tad bit standoffish, just a little subtle change because I'm trying to focus on a thousand things at one time right now, okay? I'm trying to focus, I'm trying to focus. I'm trying to think, when can I go and get this food out of my stomach? I know it sounds so bad, but it is the truth it is the 100 percent truth and again i'll sit there and i'll sit through it even if like i've i'll go to i'll go as far as waiting until like everybody's done eating every and we're ready to leave and i'll be like oh shoot i gotta go and pee or oh my gosh i drank too much lemonade i gotta go to the bathroom or oh my gosh here we go again i gotta do this or i would even wait until we get to the next spot to be like oh shoot yeah now that we're here let me run to the bathroom real quick just to kind of throw people off my trail now watch how everybody that i go out with if they watch this is about to be freaking lurking now but yeah yeah something as simple as two eggs two eggs can do that to me but this is honestly a step in the right direction because i used to not be able to eat a handful of grapes without this happening so this this is good some days i can actually eat more than this but this is for now how long should i leave those in there i'm gonna eat that with this and um, peanut butter to be honest well almond butter but i have these eggs and then i like to make this mustard sauce it's actually really good okay i got it from i got the idea from this restaurant that me and trey went to and i would just dip my eggs in this and then that's what i eat but um yeah that is all for tonight because y'all i'm about to be so pissed off tomorrow because I, it's late it's late why am I still up and it's late and I have to be up at 5 o'clock in the morning and work 12 hours? Why am I up? Because I don't, I don't like myself. Do, do I feel like I need to be punished for something? I don't know. But anyway, I'm about to go ahead and eat my food and try my hardest to get to sleep real fast because I got to be up in the morning. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Yeah. Yes, I'm on a couch. Yeah, I still sleep on the couch, y'all. My eyes are so dry. 
Jeez, my eyes are dry. As y'all know, I had LASIK. Don't mind, like my bags aren't, these aren't bags and they're not dark. I did not take off my, no makeup. I did not do anything. I literally passed out on this couch last night. I got all my study material just like right here. So I was in the middle of studying. Y'all, my phone about to die. I didn't even put my phone on the charger. Um. So yeah, this is like mascara and like, look at Sam. Sam! <laughs> so this is like mascara and eyeliner, but hold on. I had PRK back in, dang it. I need to close this and get another one. I had PRK back in 20, 20 2021 in December 2021 of December and the only downside to it is now I have extremely dry eyes in the morning like even when I'm driving in a car I can't like really let the heat blow around my face too much because it's really really dry um and in the morning I have to have some like eye drops I have clear eye right now I have some upstairs I gotta have some eye drops close to me when I wake up in the morning because when I'm in, like in the morning it's when they're extremely dry to the point of sometimes when I open my eyes too fast it's like I'm snatching like the skin of my eye off like my the top of my eyelid is like sticking to my eye and even with that being said I would do the surgery again it's just so much better to be able to see like I literally could not see even with my glasses I could barely see um so yeah but uh yeah i sleep on a couch yes i am naked because it got really hot last night <sighs> but i sleep on a couch i have a bed upstairs and everything it's just hard to sleep up there sometimes without trey i'll be paranoid too any little noise so i need to be on a couch close to the kitchen where i can get to the knives or if somebody come through that door i can run out the front door if somebody come through the front door i'm gonna run out the back door if I'm upstairs, I'ma just have to jump out the window and break my ankles when I'm playing. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's enough about my trauma. Um, today, I am going to be studying all day. Tomorrow is the day I take, wait. I'm not gonna study all day. I'm gonna be studying and my cutoff is five o'clock because after that time, I'm not gonna be studying, I'm not gonna be touching any material i'm not going to be doing any of that um oh geez that was so painful but what i do want to do is i want to prepare to take the test so studying i gotta finish practicing my cheat sheet i need to find the outfit that i'm gonna wear google so i can make sure i like know where i'm going I need to plan. I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna eat. I'm not gonna eat actually. I've decided that I'm not gonna eat before I go. I am gonna get a, I think I'm gonna get a chai latte tomorrow morning. A grande. So like little things like that. Like I'm just planning out. I'm just planning out what I'm gonna do up to the point of taking this test y'all. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell y'all. I took, I, I did my methacholine challenge yesterday and I got asthma. I got the asthma. <laughs> so the test that you take with the meth methacholine, if you react to it, meaning if you drop 20% below your baseline, that should, a uh, diagnosis of asthma should be made. As far as the mechanics of it and all of those things, the pulmonologist is going to let me know about all those things when I get when I go to my follow-up but as far as the diagnosis the test was positive it reacted I have it right here actually but so because all the numbers I don't want to bore y'all with that but like this was my baseline and when you take methacholine methacholine so okay let me back up this is so pointless right now, but I'm going to explain it anyway. My eyes look so dark. I gotta go wash my face. I promise y'all it's not black. It's not a black eye. <laughs> but um, 
So what the methacholine challenge is, is like the exercise challenge, but with medication. So when you are, when you go to the doctor and you're like, hey, I'm having lung issues or I'm having trouble breathing or hey, every time I work out, I'm short of breath, I have chest pain, things like that. They give you a referral to the pulmonologist. You go to the pulmonologist and we have a list of tests that we do. The first one being to test the lungs, the first one being the spirometry. Um, that's just the basic you know simple simple spirometry simple pft and we're just measuring your lung volume how fast you're able to get air in out of your lungs things like that depending on what those numbers say is where they start their investigation because basically you're taking these tests you're, it's an investigation they're investigating what's wrong with you if that first test comes back normal they move on to the next thing. Now, if you take the simple spirometry in your tests, your numbers come in below what they're supposed to. What they do is they then give you um, a bronchodilator. So we give out buterol and then we do that same exact test again and see if that makes it any better. And if that reverses, if that brings that number up and makes it better, then again, a diagnosis of asthma can be made. But they investigate a little bit further even with that. But now, if it's normal though, they send you on to the next test. For me, it was the methacholine. You can either go into an exercise challenge where you run on the treadmill and they um, they run on the treadmill and then they do the simple spirometry after. They give you the methacholine challenge, the one that I had when they give you the different medications and then they do the spirometry um, throughout the test. Um, there's a it's something called a CPEX where they're testing your cardio function and your um, lung function. There, It's a bunch of different tests that they do because you have two airways. You have the upper airway and the lower airway. So what they want to do is they want to test and make sure everything is good with the lower airway and then work their way up to the upper airway because it can be something as simple as vocal cord dysfunction that is giving people these asthmatic symptoms because vocal cord dysfunction can look similar to asthma but it's nothing it has nothing to do with the lungs it's just those vocal cords are closing before the, the vocal cords are closing when they're not supposed to causing those issues but for that you don't need any bronchodilators you don't need any medication you need a um a speech therapist type of thing so it's a lot of it's a lot of things i know i know but with the methacholine challenge what it does is um you go do the basic spirometry, then they give you um, albuterol, not albuterol, they give you the medication. So it's doses of the methacholine from lowest strength to strongest. Um, and depending on where you're at with that, if you don't react to any of them, then you don't have asthma. But if you react to any one of those, um, you have you have asthma. But um, depending on which one you re you react to and you drop below that 20% depends on the, the severity of the asthma. So looking at this, just pay attention to the line. The numbers really don't matter. I don't want to bore you with that, but this was my baseline at 100. After the first dose, I went down just a little bit. After the second, went down a little bit. After the third, went down a little bit. Now, if I would have reacted here and dropped all the way down to below this 20%, then that means I have severe asthma. It's, I'm, my airways are very sensitive. Even here, probably a little sensitive. Here, you're getting more moderate, you know, not moderate. Um, you're getting more mild um, or moderate around here. Same with here. It's, you know mild moderate but then here's where i reacted on the last dose so it's not bad and that's why i'm pretty sure it's just the exercise induced possibly but you see how i just tanked here boom and then you literally can feel it like you I, you it's hard to breathe and so once we see a drop below 20 percent, you're done that's it we stop the test and then we give you albuterol and then we reverse you until you get back up to your baseline or at least 5% within that baseline. So, I made my follow-up and everything with the pulmonologist. Did I? 
yeah it's on the 18th yeah so i made my follow-up with my pulmonologist and yeah we're gonna go from there i'm kind of glad i finally got this test done though um and i finally got an answer because for the past yeah like i said i came in being able to run no more my run time was never more than 16 30. i maxed everything else on an apft my sit-ups my push-ups maxed it my run i always came close but i was never able to get it and over the years it just got worse and worse and worse and this to the point i have like what 22 23 minutes to run my two mile and i can barely do that like i can barely do that i can barely start running and making up the street so over the years i'm sitting there struggling and i just could not understand why because i was so good at this i was so good at pt yeah i was a pt stud like i was good at doing this and then all of a sudden i'm just sucking and nobody could ever figure it out i was never refer i was referred to the cardiologist but never the pulmonologist they gave me an inhaler even though they never did any tests or anything like that and so i was like i was low-key like looked at as a shit bag when it was time to run because i just couldn't do it like i just couldn't do it once i get i can make it a mile in and that's it i'm gasping for air and i just could not breathe and it wouldn't make me feel like shit i remember when i went to blc and i was i was always so scared of the runs and the start of blc i was able to run okay well not not even run okay like i was able to run but i wasn't able to keep up with the formation the last run that we did y'all it was one of the fastest runs we did because it was it was two of the cadre there um, my cadre that was working with me and i really wish i could remember their names but i can't i can't remember their names i wish i could but they were really working with me when it came to the running like they weren't like i'm not a type of person that you can motivate by talking shit to or talking down to it's not just gonna make me feel worse it is what it is call me sensitive but i'm just not that type of person so when i when i was working out with these two individuals it was never that it was never you know it's okay keep going just as long as your as long as your feet keep moving as long as you keep going even the first sergeant there was just so awesome because i remember when we were doing a one of those long terrain runs terrain runs mean meaning through the woods through water through ponds and stuff and i ended up falling he said nothing he was right i was the last one and i think he was only running that slow because he is fit he was only running that slow to be the last person coming in and i remember i fell and in, in my mind i'm like all right yeah i'm just gonna walk the rest of the way no as soon as i hit the ground i felt somebody come behind me scoop me up off the ground literally my feet was still moving when i hit the ground i didn't even have time to stop running because my feet was still moving and he just picked me up and put me right back on my feet and said keep going and i just kept going I was like, damn, this shit is motivating and inspiring as fuck. <laughs> I loved BLC. I went in for it, Stewart. Anyway, um, after that last run, I was so happy. I was so excited because I, I kept up with the run. And even though I was falling out a little bit, I was able to to I was I fell behind, but I I kept managing to speed up and make it back to the formation. That was a big step in the right direction for me. I was excited. I was so happy I finished with everybody else. I got to eat breakfast, all of that. It was so, it was good. Y'all, as I'm walking to my class, some cadre from a completely different, like, um, company, whatever you, squad, whatever you want to call it, walked up counseling in hand and gave it to me and said that um, before I can even make it through the door, he said he was counseling me for lack of motivation because I fell out of the run. Um, nobody's gonna take me serious as an NCO because I can't even run. How do I expect anybody to wanna follow me if I can't even keep up with a formation? And y'all, my feelings were so fucking hurt. My feelings were so hurt. My feelings were so hurt to the point I was literally crying like a, like a damn baby. I, I cannot believe I let that man make me cry. But I was crying because I'm sitting here like, I had nothing to say. Like, I had nothing to say because I'm sitting here like, I actually kept up today. Like, I, this was really, really good. Like, I did really good today. Yes, I was dying in a process, but I did really good today. And I'm being counseled for lack of motivation when that's the only thing that kept me going today was the motivation that I had to keep up with everybody else. And I'm getting canceled for it. 
I was so mad. So when I walked in and I'm, I had to get myself together, I walk in, but my cadre is looking at me like, what's wrong with you? What, mm -mm, what's wrong? And I broke down again and I showed them the canceling and I was like, I got canceled because of this. And I, I, I was just so disappointed. Like, why am I getting emotional about this right now? Cause I was so disappointed. Like that hurt my feelings so bad. I'm so sorry. What the fuck? Why am I getting emotional? Because when you try and you try and you try and the people that's supposed to be there to motivate you, tear you down anyway, that hurts. And it leaves a lasting impression. It really does. Because y'all, I went to BLC in 2019. 2019. Why is this something I'm getting emotional about in 2023? I gave that canceling to my my cadre and he looked at it they were all pissed off but it was one in particular he snatched that shit and he walked out and i don't know what he did i don't know what he said but he's like he walked out he's like nah this is some fucking bullshit he walked out he was gone for a little bit they're just you know giving me a pep talk you know uplifting me like it doesn't even matter like don't you know um he bought it back and he was like don't worry about that he ripped that shit up in my face he's like don't even worry about that he's like there's no reason he came here and gave you a counseling without running it by us first in the first place he's like you did a damn good job out there you kept up y'all i was even calling cadences he's like you even called some cadences like don't ever let anybody make you feel like that don't ever let anybody make you cry like I just think back on my NCOs that I had like that. They were like all the NCOs, like those NCOs, they were never my NCOs. Like they were never, they were always like in training or in passing or just like, they were never my leadership. It's such good NCOs out there. I'm so sorry, wait a second. Because it's such good leaders out there. And it's so crazy that the only time I find them is when I'm in school, when I'm in training, when um when I'm like just they're never my leadership up until this point. Like being in a company that I'm in now, I didn't have good leadership. They were all so shitty, and so I always had to outsource to find the good leadership. And I feel like if I would've just had that, I wouldn't be on my way out of the army right now. I feel like if I would've just had that, I would be able to fight a little bit harder to stay in, but it's over for me now. And just looking back on it, on how some people just really tried to tear me down, but then other people just motivated the hell out of me and was just that inspirational and made me want to stay in they're the reasons I stayed as long as I did they're the reasons I lasted this long it just sucks when I look back and I just wish I had that and I say when you say certain things like that to soldiers to people it leaves a laughing a lasting impression because I kid you not and I cannot make this shit up after that day after that day when he said those things to me I never ran in another formation since. I never ran in another formation since. That was 2019. That was 2019. I ran for PT tests and stuff like that. But other than that, if I couldn't run at my own pace, I just didn't because I didn't want anybody to be laughing at me. I don't want anybody to make fun of me. I didn't want, I was weak. Like I said, I was able to do everything else. I can max my push-ups. I can max my sit-ups. I can do a fucking ruck. I can do all these things. But when it came to running, I couldn't. And all I can remember in my head is they're going to think you're weak if you start running with them and you fall out. So do not do it. I will go to sit call. I would say that I'm injured. I would get a run at your own pace and distance. Don't run information profiles. Like I would do these things because I look so strong everywhere else. And I look like that ideal soldier everywhere else until I started running. And so after that, I did it. 
I know now. I know, I understand now that just because you cannot run, it doesn't mean that you're weak. But it's so crazy because, again, getting this test, y'all, I was running and I would literally run. Up until this point, I was running so hard. It didn't matter if I couldn't breathe. It didn't matter if my chest hurt. It didn't matter if I'm starting getting lightheaded, passing out. If I had to start running I'm not going to stop. If I had to run in that PT test, to this day, I've never failed a PT test. And I'll be damned. I would die before I fail a PT test because that's a pride thing at this point. I didn't want to be a shit back. I didn't want to be a shit back so bad that I would throw up and pass out after runs. Why? And now that there's finally a reason. And I try. <laughs> There's actually a reason. I knew that there was something wrong, but I didn't have proof. So all I can do is just keep running. This shouldn't be making me this emotional, but like some things that small to other people is a big deal to me because something as simple as running shouldn't have been that big of a deal. And I finally got an answer. Here we are. Almost five years later, I can finally start some type of treatment. I have soldiers come in all the time telling me my exact same story, telling my story back to me. They're going through the same things. Leaders really need to take that into consideration. Just because you think somebody's not trying, they're probably literally dying, trying their hardest. And you don't even know it just because it's not your level of effort. It's probably their trying my damn hardest. Anyway, I'm off of y'all. I just went on that long ass rant. Got emotional for whatever reason. But I'm about to go ahead and get up and go get in the shower. Wash my face and start studying. Because like I said, I take my test tomorrow. But Good morning. It is the day. Today is the day. Um, hold on. Today is the day I take the test, and it's a little bit before um, seven in the morning. And I am just. Let me turn this off for a second. Um, hot water to run out. It's never raining out, but just in case. But. It is, um, I don't have my phone. It's almost seven o'clock in the morning and um, I'm up getting ready to take my test. I'm up getting ready to take the CMC. I'm so nervous though, like I'm so nervous. I don't know what to expect and then here I am like, I was literally driving in a car going over equations like, hold on, what is this? Do I remember that? Do I remember this? But I feel like I only remember like a few how do y'all think I'm gonna do? Before I tell y'all whether or not I got the score I needed, what do you guys think I'm gonna get? I'm trying to make sure I have everything. So we're about to go ahead and head out, y'all. I am so nervous. I was literally thinking in my head to get grab my book, but at this point, if I don't know it, I don't know it, right? So all I can do is go in there and try my best, and that's exactly what I plan on doing. So just wish me luck. I got this. I got this. I got this. All right, y'all. I am here. I'm at the testing center right over here. The PSI examination services. And I'm about to go ahead and go in there. It is 30 minutes. Well, 35 minutes prior, but I think my thing, the instruction said to try to be there 30 minutes in advance. So I'm about to go ahead and go in there. I know there's some paperwork and stuff that I have to fill out got my ID and all that in my purse so this is it ain't no going back now y'all I just walked out of the testing center and you can probably tell by my voice I'm not as excited as I should be because I passed which I kind of knew I was going to pass but I did not get high cut Yeah, I didn't get high cut. I'm thinking I'm about to register again, study for a few more days, because I'm off this weekend. 
god that sucks like okay this is this is a bittersweet moment i passed i'm a certified respiratory therapist but i just wanted that high cut so bad and i got 86 out i finished i pass. so i passed i got my crt but i didn't get high cut what was the high cut again? 92, and I got 86. 86. I mean, right there, I know. I'm going to try to retake it Monday. I'm just mad because I'm looking at the website, and I can't, like, schedule. I'm. It sucks because I know I could have got it. It's just I ran out of time again. I thought I was pacing myself just right. I had made it all the way because I had skipped a bunch. Like, basically, I went in with a game plan of, okay, I'm just going to... Um, it it. Yeah, like all the ones that I didn't know immediately, I was just going to skip it and come back to it. But by the time I was coming back to them, I'm like looking at all of the ones that I skipped and I'm like, oh crap, that's so many. And so um, I made it to 120 and I, I only had like 30-ish, I want to say probably around 20, 30 minutes left to take the test. And I'm like, fuck. So then I'm like, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and go through the ones that I skipped real quick. And then once I get down to 15 minutes, I'm just going to go ahead and try to rush back through because you have to go all the way to 160. Because I had, yeah. and I would have just left the answers. Like if I, next time I think what I'm going to do, instead of just skipping it all together, I'm going to try to at least put some type of answer. Yeah, yeah. yeah that way. Because I think that's what really did it is I didn't even answer the question. So I actually had to go back and like answer the question. Because at the end... I was reading all the quotes. I, I want to say starting at like the 136 is when I started just clicking. Because I didn't have a choice. I was like down to five minutes. And I still had to make it to 160. And so all the short questions, I would try to like, if I was able to read it fast enough, I'm like, okay, I know this question. Boom. And it was a bunch like that. It was a bunch that I was looking at that I know I knew, but I just did not have time to answer it. Or I wouldn't have been able to finish the test. Yeah. So I was so mad. I know I could have got it. And so I'm going to go ahead and jump right back into it. I mean, you should pass. It's, yeah, I pass. It's fine. Yeah, with, it yeah. With the CRT, at least, at least I'll be able to um, throw my nursing um, stuff in. Because, you know, I wanted to get registered, you know, uh, some type of licensure. That yeah. way I was able to, like, be competitive with the nursing applications. But I'm going to come back because I want my RRT. Got it. I definitely got it. Because, I mean, you think it's just a time now. So, uh, now that you knew what it's like. Yeah. I gotta work on my speed and actually reading through the test, but I was going slow because I was nervous and because I kept having to reread the question. That is my yeah. biggest problem is I don't like when I'm reading I have to like grasp it and break it down slow and I was like, Come on, you're kidding me. But I'm uh, next time. I got it next time. Oh my goodness! I'm about to go grab some breakfast. How what time is it? Yeah. Oh, it's noon. I'm about to go grab some brunch. Well, like twelve o'clock. <laughs> yeah. And um, go chill at home and study. I guess until I take the test again. <sighs> go ahead, baby. I'm I'm happy. I'm excited. I'm I'm actually excited that I at least got something. Cause I won't lie. I will not lie. Those questions, they're not. And it's like every single time I take this test, it makes me realize even more that the way I'm studying, like for example, the calculations, I want to say I probably had maybe one or two calculations on this entire test. Other than that, everything was like giving you the like the calculations or the numbers but you have to take this information and apply like what do you think this is or yeah. what was it one of the questions was like um it was a it was a patient who came in with shortness of breath um she was on some type of oral contraceptive um and so they gave they gave you lab values between it was like an hour and then like five minutes later right but all of the numbers were the same except of except the pip so everything was the same she didn't change at all except the pip went from 30 to 60 and then it says what do you think this is i don't know <laughs> 
I'm gonna call the doctor and ask him. <laughs> like, am I going to school to be a respiratory therapist or am I going to school to interpret these tests? Because I yeah, like sound like all the stuff they tell you, like you're, you're everybody, you're a doctor, you're a nurse, you're a fucking Gosh, RT, it was, like, or oh, it was so bad. And it was so many questions like that, baby. I started off like, okay, I'm good. All right, okay. I know the first three questions. Then we get to the fourth question. I was like, whoo, that was crazy. Then I got to the, um, I skipped like three of them. Then I got to that next question after I skipped a bunch of them. And I was like, yep, this, this, this ain't going to be as smooth as I thought it was going to be. Delicious. Thank you. you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right, guys, that is it for this vlog. Your girl is a certified respiratory therapist, and I'm super excited. Next time I come here, I will have my um, 92. I will have my CRT eligible to sit for RT because I will hit that high cut score, okay? All right. I wasn't worried when I walked out. I was just kind of frustrated because I'm like, dang, that's about to be another $150 later and another three hours sitting through a test later, but I know I got it, so I wasn't worried. Um, yeah, I'm about to go get some food. I think I'm about to just, uh, I think I'm about to just go ahead and go to the mall and get some mall food and get a cinnabon, cinnamon roll from Cinnabon and go home and decompress. <sighs> yes. All right. But that's it for this vlog. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Uh -huh. What's poppin'? Brand new whip just hopped in. I got options. I can pass that like stocking.